Hello everybody and welcome to my channel Gamalinka TV. With me as your hostess, my name is Galina and my channel is about places I like to visit. And today I'm back at Bush Gardens located uh, in Tampa, Florida uh, for a certain experience, experience called Australian Insider Tour. Uh, it's located in Kangaloom and you get to hand feed uh, kangaroos and wallabies. So right now we are waiting uh, to, to be called in. Um, and uh, once we're on the tour, I'll take you all inside with me and uh, I will show you around. All right, now while we are inside, you guys will be meeting one bird. It'll either be Paco or Charlie. They are a cockatoo. So you guys will be able to talk to one of the keepers. She'll explain what the cockatoo is, where they are from. You guys will have a photo opportunity to take your photo with either one. And then we will continue out and they will explain all about these amazing kangaroos and the wallabies. Now at the very end, we'll go inside their habitat. While we are inside their habitat, please listen to the keeper. The keeper will go over all the rules on what, where not to go past, what you can or cannot do. It's very simple, and they are very lovable animals. <laughs> so as soon as the keeper is ready, we will come out and we'll retrieve all of you guys, okay? Huh? So okay. You guys go ahead and have a seat, and we'll be out here very shortly, okay? Thank you, thank you. Um, so the first part of this tour, we'll get my little see a feathered friend. Um, we'll get a photo with her. The second part of the tour, I'll kind of take you around Kangaloo, um, tell you about the kangaroos, point out the different species that we have. And then the last part of the tour, we'll go on habitat with the kangaroos. We'll feed, we'll touch, we'll take photos, all that fun stuff. If you have any questions during this tour, just let me know and I'd be happy to answer them for you. Um, and if you need any photos taken, honey's your girl. Um, any questions before we get started? Alright, you guys, follow me this way. Paco is an umbrella cockatoo. They are native to the islands around Australia, not actually in Australia. They are as much loved at their home as seagulls are here. Because they're about as loud and destructive as a seagull can be. So, there you go. However, she's enjoying her corn right now. Paco talks. We just recently learned she's probably in her 40s. She's been in the park about 28 years. Uh, she was a surrender. Uh, based on her skeletal and um, other things that the vets found, they determined that she wasn't 28, she was 40. So we're figuring the 28 came from how long she was in the park. Because she's been here almost as long as me. So, <laughs> I'm almost as old as her. So. Just kidding. <laughs> anyway, so. What we're gonna do is let you guys come up if you want to ask questions about her. One of the things we do know, she is a girl. That I can tell you for sure because the color of her eyes, unless she's lying about that too. Because um, she told us she was younger. Anyway, um, her eyes have a reddish tint. When you get up close and you look, you'll see the reddish tint in her eyes. And um, she does talk. She absolutely <laughs> loves men with facial hair. So she will try to flirt with you. She will try to steal you. And all I can tell you is, she definitely prefers men over women, but if she gets on you, she may not come back to me. In which case, you get to go home with her. Yay! Back there and spend the day. Yay! <laughs> so you won't get to see the rest of the park. So it's okay. Down, you don't let her crawl on you. And um, anyway, she talks. It's all about Paco. It's hello, Paco. Goodbye, Paco. Paco, Paco, Paco. <laughs> Um, she whistles, she says, good girl, and so Paco's world revolves around Paco. So the reason, probably my guess is why she was surrendered, is it's like having one of these for a pet, it's like having a two-year-old for 40 or 50 years. Yeah. So, 
You don't send it to college. You don't pay for a wedding. But it's a two-year-old for 40 mm -hmm. or 50 years. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and they are just as needy and demanding as any two-year-old human I know. So, yes. All right. So, if you want to do family groups, however you want to do it, we have paparazzi in the back. We have Honey Michaela, who will be glad to take cameras, do pictures. You can talk with her. She is going to try to flirt with you, and she does dance a little bit if you dance up and down. And she raises her crest up, and she gets excited. Woo! You good girl. Birds do pick up on emotion, so the more excited you are, the more excited you yeah. are. Oh, yeah! No! All right, so come on up. My ears. Paco. Yeah, you have pretty eyes. Hi, Paco. Paco, Paco. Hi, beautiful. How are you? You're so pretty. Such a pretty girl. Who is a good girl? Paco, Paco. Yeah. Pretty girl. Who is a pretty girl? Is Paco a pretty girl? Hello, Paco. You're not so sure? Bye, Paco. Bye, Paco. Bye. <laughs> Bye, Paco. Good girl. Uh, three, all three species of kangaroo. So we have the red kangaroo, which is the largest species of kangaroo. Uh, the males can reach eight feet tall, 200 pounds. So this is what they look like when they're full grown. They get very, very big, very muscular. <laughs> uh, most of what you will see today it are females. Out. <laughs> so these ones over here are females. So this is about the biggest size that we we also have two species of wallaby. We have a very small species of wallaby called the Tamar wallaby. Um, and then we have the Bennett's wallaby. We have three that look like this guy, and then we also have three albinos. You may have seen one that kind of hopped into the pen there when we were in there. Um, and then we have a wallaroo. Her name is Wendy. So it's its own separate species. Uh, she kind of has the qualities of a wallaby, but more of the size of a kangaroo. Um, so when I say qualities, I mean a little bit more fuzzy, her head's a little bit more shaped like a wallaby, and then she's less social as well. Wallabies tend to live by themselves in the wild where they kind of hide away in forests. Kangaroos are extremely social animals. They live in big groups on open grasslands. A group of kangaroos is called a mob. Um, so I'll kind of point them out as we go here, but any questions before we get started? <laughs> All right guys, follow me this way. Stand up here. If you're cleaning a horse, whichever you guys prefer. You guys are welcome to touch them on their neck or their back. Just avoid their head. They're not a fan of that. They will walk away from you if you do it. Which one is interesting? I got the good stuff. They all have names too, it. so if you guys want to know who you're feeding, just let me know. Alright. Is anyone hungry? No? How about you? How about you, my friend? Would you like some? Good. That's it? That's all you want? No one sleep more than the one food. Well, sometimes you need sleep more than you need food. That's nothing wrong with it. Hello! I'll go down to your level. Oh, no, don't, don't do that. <laughs> okay. All right. Who else? How about you over here? Hi! Hello! May I offer you some? There you go. I'll hold it for you. Wonderful. 
All right. Another bite? Very good. Good job. Okay. Let's see who else would like some. Okay. Hi. I got you something. If you're not too lazy, if you're not too busy. You might have to put it in your hand. Okay. Okay, there you go. No? Oh, yeah. All the carrots got picked out. Sorry, guys. Somebody already got all the carrots. Can I feed you? Can I feed you? Will you take some of my food? Oh, yeah, that's so much better than out of the cup, right? Yeah, oh, you're so gentle. Goodness. It's like, I don't need to eat out of your hands. I have my own hands. Who's there? Ooh, I love your lashes. Beautiful. Oops, I felt your teeth. <laughs> oh goodness, those for the teeth. One more time. Here, I got something. Okay, you again. You are my best friend. Hi, Joey. Is your name Joey? <laughs> Actually, the keeper would be able to tell you a couple of their names. Wow, not even carrots? Oh, I'm sorry, because I yeah, called you a wrong name. We'll I'm try sorry. This one right here. Hold on, hold on. The no, still not? Okay. Sorry to disturb you, sir. Would you like some carrots? <gasps> All right. Yay, someone's eating my carrots. I'm so happy. Hurry up, two minutes left. Eat them up. <laughs> you only got two minutes left. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. You save them for later. Gotcha. Okay. Did you change your mind? Yep, it's still the same. Oh, set it down. Okay. There you go. There you go. <laughs> you just can yeah grab it no why are you spilling oh my goodness why are you spilling hi you're the best eater here to attempt petting it a little. We can touch the neck, yeah, right? On the back. On the back. <laughs> Come on, hurry up, I gotta go. Oops, not my finger. Hurry up. No? Okay, I'm gonna leave it for you and I'm gonna pet you on on your back for oh okay no, maybe not. <laughs> okay bye guys uh, bye guys. Later. Oh, they scratching together at the same time. Synchronical scratching. Funny. Okay, bye. All right. And now we go outside. Oops. This door. Okay. This door takes you outside. Thank you very much.
All right, hands all nice and clean. Thank you, Kangaloo. Uh, interactive Kangaroo experience. And now, right here, right next door, is the walkabout way. And they have different birds there. So let's go see them birdies. They even have um, kookaburras too. I love kookaburras. Oh, hold on one second. They have uh, Mama Kangaroo and little Joey here as a uh, plastic uh, figurine for your souvenir. That's cute. All right, Kukabura Aviary entrance, enter. And no smoking, food or drinks beyond this point. Thank you. Okay, all right. There is one door, there's the other. Are you guys making those noises? Goodness! Who are you? So there is a bit of a sidewalk which you absolutely must to stay on because off of it is uh, the bird nesting area. Bird nesting area. Bird nesting area. And if that was not clear enough, <laughs> birds, uh, bird nesting area. Thanks. Quote unquote <laughs> for remaining on walks. Yeah. Let them be. They're nesting. So according to the sign, they have 20 different kinds of birds in here in Kukabura aviary. And there's Kukabura. The last one is Kukabura. My favorite. And that's them right there, but I can't zoom in any closer. Oh, cuties. There is a bird that has blue feet, but this uh, duck has blue beak. Interesting. Oop! <laughs> that bird is a good diver. There you are. Got anything? Oop! <laughs> Where did you go? <laughs> Come on. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Wow, showing off his diving skills. <laughs> That's so funny. Wow, look how skinny his beak is. Like a needle. Are you laughing kookaburra or regular kookaburra? Okay, I'll leave, I'll leave you be. And this guy, like halfway through his food already. But funny how he's standing in his bowl and eating out of it. Hi. Bye guys. And exit. And exit through another set of two doors. Okay, cool. And now let's go to another place where they have birds and you can feed them too. See you there. Alright, we made it. Lori Landing, an interactive bird experience. Cool. Let's go feed some birds. Wow. Hi, how are you doing? Good, thank you. May I buy um, food for the birds from you? Absolutely. Uh -huh. What is it? So it has a bunch of different vitamins in it that's made uh, for the birds in there to uh -huh. make their diet. Very nice, thank you. You're very welcome. Here you go, let's feed birds some vitamins. Oui. <laughs> Almost spilled. That cost me $7. You better eat your vitamins. 
Ai, I'm spilling all the radio. Easy, easy. So you just go and they see you and fly up to you? Hi, hi there. Red fronted macaw. Hello. Oh, you're in cage. You can't get to me. Okay. Hi. Come, birdie, birdie. Oh, you go through this door. And you, and you feed these guys. Okay, so hold your cup firmly and feed nectar only, no human food. Stay on the path, no climbing the rocks or walking through the plants. Presenting your arm, not your finger. No touching, please, the birds might bite. So, no holding like this. <laughs> well, no fancy fingers. Okay, all right. Here comes nothing. All right, let's me actually turn around and push it with my high knee. Okay. Ah! Ah! I mean, oh, hello! Hello! Hi! You gonna sit on my hand? Or you want me to just get closer to you? Okay, there you go. Oh, look at that cute little turn! Oh my goodness! Oh, you're so loud! Oh yeah! Yeah! Oh good! Okay, I'm gonna go, alright? If you want more, come with me. Come with oh, ho, ho, ho. come with me if you want more. Come on guys, come up. I brought you something. It's your favorite. I'm waiting for them to come to me and have some of this vitamin water. Well, vitamin water. Water with vitamins, not vitamin water. Come on, guys. I'm gonna drink it. Hurry up. Who found another guy? Are you the same guy? Did you follow me or you're a different guy? Woo! There is more. Hold on, let me hold it. Hey, that was rude. There is enough for everybody. You need to share. Ah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Just don't poop on me. I swear. If you poop on me. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let's see if you're <laughs> gonna stay in my hand. Oh my god. Oh, there is one more. And no fight, Sin. I'll knock you both of you down. Okay, good, good. You're dancing here for your little dance. Oh my god, one is late. One is landed on my shoulder and it's on my back right now. Guys, I gotta go. I have a bird on my back. Dude, fly! Okay. Jesus Christ. Hello. Oh, I got beat. Ay, ay, ay. I wanted to take my I wanted to take my cup back and I got beat. Alright? You saw that, right? Take it! Oh, ha, ha, ha. I got it. more food. <laughs> Lick it clean. That's it. Oh, it's all gone. He doesn't care about me anymore. Do not poop. Yeah, you. Don't poop. Aha. Uh -huh. So I just went back and got me another cup. So it's eight dollars. Since I am a pass holder, I have a um, discount. So to me, it was seven dollars. And uh, I'm gonna go back and uh, feed them some more because it was so much fun. And I didn't get uh, crap on, so that's good. That's why I'm coming back. Let's do that again. Ah! There is my water. It's me. 
sitting comfortably, waiting for the birds to come and find me. Come on, you know you want it. I have to hop up my hand. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> come on, hop up my hand. Hop up my hand. <laughs> come on, you can do it. <laughs> ah, there you go. Hey. <laughs> I'll bring it to you. Consider washing your hands. All right, I fed uh, the kangaroos and the wallabies, and I fed the parrots. And uh, now I'm on my way to Kumba roller coaster because, uh, and that's another reason for my visit today. Today is. Uh, uh, it's 30th anniversary. 30 years ago, they uh, first uh, opened or ran or established uh, this roller coaster. And that's Komba, 30 year old roller coaster. And that's the seat. And acro across from it, that's where you go to pick up your pin. Only they don't call it the pin, they call it the button. And it will look just like this. And I have a whole bunch left. Hi! That's it. It's spelled Kumba, right? Yeah. K U M. There's the pin. That's what? Yeah. Alright, let's go ride it now. Alright, loose items are not permitted. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to leave my stuff in a, in a locker and go on the right and I'll see you after that. Alright, I'm back of the right and this is me there. Hold well on. Yeah, not the most clear picture. But you can make up that it's me and I'm smiling. Yeah. <laughs> Not a good picture, but yeah, I was smiling. Yeah, it was clanking, it was rattling, it was shaking, it was loud. I felt all the cheese, all the tones and spurs. Inversions, right? We call them. This thing goes over you. And uh, your, my head, I'm short, my head is here. So every time it turns, my, my head would be hit on this side. Oh my god, it's like somebody was punching me on the sides of my head. I felt like my brain got, like my brain got scrambled to something. It was not a good uh, feeling. Yeah.
I am hungry and uh, this place is one of my favorite places to eat here but I'm saving my appetite for something else but I'm going to Papain for a cup of water so this cups here next to the soda machine are for your complimentary water just grab a cup and make sure you're getting water and nothing else out of here so thank you I got me my water oh those pretzels look good Oh cool, misters. And if you don't want to get missed it, you can walk on this side where I'm walking because I have my camera with me. Oh, it feels good in here. You hear that music? It's not like regular everyday bush gardens music uh, because uh, they are having a uh, food and wine festival right now. That's why the music is different. And that's why I didn't want anything from that um, pretzel place because I would like uh, to get something from Food and Wine Festival instead. One, two, three. Three elephants. And they have water running. So then they can cool off. And there is more water for them. Wonderful. And there is a Serengeti flyer. Hi, Serengeti Flyer! I like this ride. So far, I was uh, on this one. Um, the one I just went on, there is Kumba and Ayan Gwodze. So three rides so far. I'm in no hurry. <laughs> yeah, but this one was my first ride ever at Bush Gardens and I loved it. But um, I don't want to stand in line right now, though it's not a big line. I'm kind of hungry and thirsty, so I'm gonna go to that um, festival walkway uh, place where they sell that uh, festival food and drinks. And these guys are going to feed giraffes. They are going on Serengeti Safari. That's a very cool experience. It's uh, the same price as the one I just went uh, with, with the kangaroos. It's uh, $39.99 as the lowest, lowest price. Sometimes it's $49.99 if it's uh, like a weekend or something. I like this elephant, this plastic elephant. Nice, let's get it. So it's five dollars only, and it's cash or credit. Okay, all right. So five bucks. There's one. There's two. And and three. And. Four and five. Oh, wow. You're you don't speed a single one back. I love it. It's closing. There's my elephant. Come on. <laughs> Here you are, standing there, smiling at me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wanna come home with me? Ah. <gasps> so hot, oh my God. I'll let you cool, off a cool down a little. So hot to the touch, my goodness. Little kids can burn their hands. 
Oh yeah, yeah, it's still so hot. <laughs> Hi there. Oops. <laughs> it's okay. Alright. Cool. There's a train. I'm going to cut a corner to my Yombe Reserve. Nobody's here. No people, no animals. It's okay, I'm just cutting a corner. They all went back inside. There's this guy here. <laughs> Hello, sir. Where is everybody? Oh my god, look over here. Uh oh. This is crazy. Gee, that's like Bert's bathroom here. Oh my goodness. I would not be walking here. Oh my god. That would be a nice place to sleep. Alright, I found who to blame. Pardon our appearance. Yep. It is currently nesting season for the American white ibis. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> I've never seen anything like this. Oh, the gators are out. That's cool. There's one, there's two, there's three over there in the corner, and there's four, and there's five, one, two, three, four, five. We're missing two more. There's one right there. Alright, I made it to Festival Walkway and now I'm about to go there and get me something to eat from this food and wine festival. And um, last time I was here, I was here with my family, I was on vlogging, but I purchased this uh, 18 item uh, sampler and uh, since um, I am a pass holder, um, I, I received this one, um, see it says pass holder, uh, this uh, kit, uten utensil kit. Yeah, and I brought it with me. All right, let's go find me something to eat. 
So I'm starting with this item, the second one on the list. It's a African vegetable curry and naan bread uh, with a zucchini, yellow squash, cauliflower, red bell peppers, tomato, peas, and onion. And I, I got myself a bottle of water as well. All right, let's check it out. Oh yeah, that does look like curry and it's very hot and fresh and looks delicious. Can't wait. Okay, so I still had a bunch of uh, punch holes, not punched, left from my last visit when I got here, uh, when I brought my family here and I purchased this uh, 18 sampler that was the largest available. And um, we didn't even go through all of them because they didn't even care. So it was mostly me using them. And um, I still had um, seven of them left. Plus today I picked up uh, two free samples. It was uh, the perk of this month, month of April. Complimentary one item sample. Yeah, there is one and there is another one just like that. How cool. Yeah. So I have uh, nine uh, samples to, to use and I started with this curry stew with a naan bread which looks like kind of like pita bread which I like. One moment. And of course there is uh, many different cocktails and wines but um, I'm driving and I'll be leaving soon because the park is closing at 7 tonight and it's uh, <laughs> I'm standing in front of um, Ayan Guzzi. Hold on one sec. Where is Ayan Guzzi? I love its structure, all those wooden planks. Okay, hold on. Okay, so, yeah. I have a little bit over an hour and I'm going to try as much food as I can uh, during this time. And um, I, I'll take some cupcakes before I leave. Yeah, that's like my uh, tradition to bring cupcakes whenever there is a festival. I'm bringing cupcakes home. All right, let's try. Very nice, not spicy at all. I mean, a little bit, but very mild. Super delicious. Of course, you gotta be a fan of curry or be cool with it, you know, tolerant of it or something. I don't know. Even if you don't prefer it, you better be, uh, you know, fine with it because it's yeah, it's curry. It's a lot of it. Mm -hmm. Very pleasant dish. Very light. Very flavorful, fresh bread, very good. And not just because I'm hungry, it tastes so fresh. I recommend, and hearty too. Mm. So yeah, you can see yellow squash in it, you can see this green zucchini in it, and there's red tomato, probably maybe bell pepper. Yeah. Very, very hearty and so nice and fresh and hot. Love it. I'm licking my plate clean, so to speak. This pita bread is perfect for <laughs> wiping the leftovers of the plate. Okay, is this his front or back? I'm confused. Are you looking at me? No, he's not looking at me. Is it your front or your back? I'm all confused. That is, that, that's your front, right? Oh, that's his backside. I'm talking to the backside. Oh, I'm so sorry. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hello. He's so polite. Good seeing you again. You're my favorite bush. <laughs> Yay. He's happy. <laughs> Ooh, wiggly. <laughs> so polite. So gracious. Bye. <laughs> so at the dessert and sweet wines, I already 
tried both of these mascaras, the blueberry mascara and Masalina. Masalina, I, um, I already knew, and it happened to be my favorite because it's slightly bubbly and it tastes just like you would be eating uh, sweet green um, grapes. It tastes just like grapes. You know how wine tastes like spoiled grapes, but well, this mascara tastes like fresh green grapes, sweet ones, mascara grapes. So good. And uh, blueberry mascara I tried, I didn't really taste it blueberries. The color was um, uh, like rosé color um, and it was very sweet, but I didn't really pick up on the blueberry flavor. But it was still good. <laughs> it's like the creature and his handler. <laughs> All right, it is now six o'clock and it's time for me to try this pierogies and peas, potato filled dumplings garnished with peas and caramelized onion puree. All right. Presenting you my beautiful pierogi filled with potatoes and garnished with peas. Okay, so this is that thin that I received with the purchase of uh, 18 food items, uh, food and drinks items sampler as a pass holder. So let's open. There's a spoon. A knife. And a fork. The fork is kind of funny. Let's try to use. Let's try using it. Well, let's try using both of these. Okay. Again, delicious. Uh, one thing, it, uh, they got cold when I, while I was, um, you know, looking for a table, set, settling down, getting camera ready, getting the utensils ready. They cooled down, uh, but it's my fault. But they are really good. <coughs> this uh, caramelized onion puree. Uh, complements potatoes greatly because the onions and potatoes they are a perfect match they're like meant for each other made for each other match made in heaven and things like that uh, peas are interesting here too all of it like starchy uh, peas and potatoes great I really enjoyed those pierogies uh, as much uh, almost as much as the previous item uh, the African curry stew, vegetables too um, that one little bit uh, high up. <laughs> yeah, it's like first place, uh, pierogi is the second place, but both really good. And the pierogies were rather large and I was already uh, full after that stew. So I only ate two and I'm bringing other two home. They're already in my bag in a plastic container <laughs> that I brought home with me, from home with me. And uh, I'm going to go back to uh, the same um, booth and uh, get tiramisu to take home. And I just went and got myself a couple desserts. One is tiramisu or tiramisu. I'm not sure how to say it right. I heard both uh, ways, uh, tiramisu and tiramisu. And uh, this one is baklava. There are two pieces actually. One triangle for sample, but because I had those two free samples, I went and um, got myself two pieces. And I'm not eating them here, I'm taking them home. But I've had them here before and uh, that's why I got them again. And that's why I'm taking home because I already, um, I'm already familiar with them. Um, that's why I'm not trying them now. And they're both really good and I uh, recommend either one of them or both. I want both of these items, but I'm too full. I want to take them home, but I'm out of containers. <laughs> um, I'll figure something out.
Okay, I have a plan. I'm going to get me one of these cupcakes and they will give me um, a paper bag with it and uh, then I'll go back to that place and go those two uh, other items and I ask them uh, to cover it with the paper boots and I can uh, just like stack them on that paper bag. Perfect. I've done that before and it worked just fine. Uh, I did it at the uh, Mardi Gras event I had. So let's do that trick again. I chose this one. <laughs> Red, white and blue. Red, blue. Strict buttercream mixed berry center yellow cake. Right here. Oh. Aww. Yeah. And they gave me a paper bag. Perfect. My plan is working. So here is that Moroccan couscous with roasted vegetables. Such a beauty and so heavy. That's a very hearty portion. Look at that. Beautiful. <gasps> Smells so good. And that's the other. How you say the first name? Uh, Barbera. Barbera Spice Barbera. Uh -huh. Barbera. Uh -huh. So Barbera that one is uh, Barbera Spice Chicken Bad Bout. Also looks good. Well, I'll try a little and then I'll pack it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. And goisy. It's making noise. Yeah, I haven't had couscous in ages. Yeah, I don't remember when I had couscous last time. Mm. That's a very interesting flavor. Yum. little sweet but not like sugar sweet, sweet like carrots is sweet. So good, so pleasant, nice and warm and plentiful. And this little pearl, pearls, this little tiny bowls, they, uh, they remind me of that ice cream, those little melts. <laughs> Very good, I'm taking the rest home. Okay, and now that Barbara, Barbara, Bar no, I'm sorry, I don't know how to say it. Let, let me look it up. Okay, so according to uh, YouTube, it's pronounced Barbara, Barbara. Uh, all right, let's try the Barbara chicken. Oh my god, it's super soft. It's like melting. Like you don't need teeth to eat it, you can... Like, seriously, it's so soft. And I'm guessing it's curry too because, uh, because of the color. But the flavor is not the curry flavor and it's pretty salty. What's the spice? Is it like nutmeg? What is it? Hmm. Let me go read about it quick. Just one second. Okay, it's uh, coriander. There is coriander and cinnamon and, and allspice and black pepper. So that's why it's so aromatic. But that was coriander that I was speaking on the most. Cool. I'm taking it home. Uh, the bread is hard, but I don't even care for the bread. The chicken is really good. Nice. <laughs> and there you go. Presumably safely <laughs> covered and uh, doubled on the bottom. I used uh, two paper uh, boats on the bottom, and now. Okay. Ta-da! Cool. So I used up all my lanyard. No more samples left.
and there is Ian Gozi. Yeah, it was a great day. All right, so right now it's like 6.50, so 10 minutes till the park is closed. And I just noticed they have this uh, purple flowers tree uh, where uh, Ian Gozi is, and it's one of the, those two colors, one of two Ian Gozi's colors, purple and green. And this tree has purple flowers and green uh, leaves. How clever, how appropriate, how cool. Love it. Thank you for visiting Bush Gardens. Don't thank me, thank you Bush Gardens for having me. Always a pleasure to be here. They just made an announcement that the park is closed. Good night Bush Gardens. Thank you for having me. And next time I'm here, I'm going to see a lion and a tiger and chimpanzees and gorillas. Bye, Bush Gardens. Okay, and that was my day at Bush Gardens, and I enjoyed it greatly. And uh, that at the back is my dress <laughs> I brought with me as a change of clothes uh, in, in case if those birds will crap on me and I have to go back and, uh, you know, retrieve, uh, retrieve it and take it to, to the park and change there. Yeah. So that was my change of clo clothes, and that's why I was wearing a hat because uh, I, I knew they can like, you know, they, they fly above you, and yeah. So <laughs> I was, um, I was ready, yeah. So I, I really in enjoyed feeding those little birds with that um, water with the vitamins in it. That that was fun. They were super loud but super cute. Uh, the the kangaroos and uh, wallabies. Uh, that was. Uh, a little I don't know I don't want to say disappointing um, I, I still had fun it's just that they were so tired and lazy and they were so like uninterested and uh, and that food uh, yeah I don't know but it was uh, their time to to rest and sleep and we were kind of like composing you know so yeah and uh, uh, the ride that Kumpa ride dude <laughs> rough just rough I could feel all those 30 years in it and I, I don't mean that it's worn out but I mean it wasn't as um, good uh, back then as uh, they make them now yeah in comparison to Ayan Gwozi oh my goodness Ayan Gwozi is just as powerful but you don't feel uh, the, the roughness but you just feel intensity but without roughness yeah to my best description yeah and um, what else yeah, the food was good, yeah. Uh, last time uh, I came here, uh, the first time uh, when I visited uh, Bush Gardens for Food and Wine Festival this year, uh, that time uh, I didn't like the food that much. Uh, this time I did, maybe because of because I was hungry and because it was like so fresh and hearty and it was the vegetables. And um, when, it's, uh, when it's hot, you crave something light, you know, and like, meats or something yeah so cool and that the cupcake is so cute i already tried all other three ones um, and two of them were chocolate and uh, those were uh, the best especially one of them the one with peanut butter the other one was orange so peanut butter first place uh, chocolate peanut butter first place chocolate orange second place and that um third one i don't remember uh the flavor would be third place and this one i'm not familiar with so that's why I, I got it because I haven't tried it yet. Look, looks good. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm bringing home food and sweets. So I'm all set for tonight and uh, maybe even tomorrow lunch. It doesn't matter. Uh, but yeah, 
love bush gardens love coming here and uh, hanging out and uh, doing different things every time i come here or the same things that are my favorite doesn't matter every visit is uh, is special every visit has something in it that i haven't done um yeah whether it's sometimes it's just the weather that is different so it's yeah same park uh, you know different day every, yeah something's always different um, so yeah I'm not tired of it yet and uh, I'm looking forward to my next visit and uh, tired <laughs> and if you guys uh, liked my video um, please don't forget to hit a like and a subscribe and I'll see you in my next one and for right now have a good night and good rest and be nice to each other take care bye bye